Hi guys, so today is Monday and it's 4.30. <laughs> we got the dogs today for me, Ma. No, we did not. Um, for some reason I'm just gonna, I'm starting, for some reason I'm gonna start vlogging at 4.38 in the afternoon, I don't know why. This morning I cut Gracie's nails and cut, cut her, her paw hair, so that was my chore for this morning. And right now I'm gonna go in the bathroom and clean the downstairs tub, because I've been meaning to do that for a while now and I just keep putting it off, so. Look at that. That's nasty. We'll clean up that. We'll clean up that. Give the tub a scrub. Should we clean the tub, Paisley? Should we clean it? Oh uh, no, we're not gonna take a bath. We're gonna clean it. I got the tub done that was yesterday it's a new day now um, I wanted to talk to you guys about intermittent fasting and how that went for my first week so I did one whole week with only one day where I kind of cheated a little bit I gave myself a little cheat um, but I did one whole week of fasting from 6 p.m. so I wouldn't eat anything after 6 p.m. until 12 p.m. the next day um, so I did that and then there was only one day where I ate something after the kids went to bed. Uh, Madison picked out muffins from BJ's, they're like these big muffins with like sugar, like that hard sugar, like crystallized sugar on the top and they looked so good and I was looking at them like all week and I wanted one so I let myself have one one night before they were all gone um, and it was worth it, it was very good. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I did that and I just kind of like, I really just eat like two meals, I guess, maybe a little snack in between. Um, but one thing I've started doing is having cereal for lunch because you guys know I love my cereal. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing out if I'm not able to eat cereal, like I'm missing out on one of my favorite things in life. So I decided that what I should do is have cereal for lunch instead of like having it at the end of the night. like. It, normally be something I'd have at like 10 o'clock at night when I get hungry I'd eat that like right before I went to sleep um so yeah so instead of having it at nighttime, I was having that for lunch so that would be my lunch it would be cereal and then I'd maybe have a little snack in between but most of the time I wouldn't even need a snack and then I would just have dinner and I would just have like whatever we'd normally have for dinner but try to make sure I didn't like overeat um and yeah so after a full week of that I was very excited to weigh myself because I felt like I did good and I was hoping that I would lose like at least a pound well guess what guys I gained 0.2 pounds I gained 0.2 pounds like what the heck so that was very discouraging and at that moment I felt like I just wanted to stop eating like I was just about to be like all right that's it I can't do intermittent fasting doesn't work I just needed like starve myself I need to go down to like a thousand calories a day or just like one meal a day like one meal a day is a thing that people do that's like a type of diet or whatever so I was thinking like maybe I just need to do that and I just need to be hungry all the time but that mindset passed like it came over me and then it passed and I was like you know what I'm just gonna give it another week maybe a couple weeks I'll give it like two more weeks and we'll see how things go if I'm still not losing any weight then it's probably because I'm still eating too much and then maybe I need to like start counting calories, but I really don't want to start counting calories because I get like obsessive over it and I don't want to feel obsessive over it. So yeah, so that was how my first week of intermittent fasting went. It went amazing and it was discouraging, but I'm going to stick to it. I'm going to stick to it for a little while longer and see how things go. It's on here. What are you doing, buddy? Watching TV? So we got a new TV because our old one had something wrong with it and Greg had like a thing where they would send us he paid for like a thing where they would send us a new one if something was wrong with it so we got a new one without paying for it it has wines in it because we 
we got a new TV. Yeah, it had burn mark burn in or something yeah, on it. Yeah, because we keep pause. Somebody keep pausing it. Yeah, we kept it paused for too long, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see. So this is the TV that was upstairs in the living room, and it's now downstairs in the basement. So the kids are very excited about that to have a new, a new TV in the basement. Um, I think what I'm gonna do right now is vacuum a little bit in here. It's like the laundry room area. I've been decluttering in here a little bit. Um, over here, I'm gonna show you. Let me show you what I decluttered. I used to have a whole bunch of diapers, like bigger diapers that we were hopefully going to use. Um, and I just decided to donate them all because I was just tired of just like having stacks of diapers there. So I got this whole shelf cleaned off. So I could probably take that shelf down if I want. Vacuum all back there. It was like size six diapers that we probably won't even use. And there were like some pull-ups and stuff and probably won't use pull-ups either. But if I need to, I can just get some pull-ups. But normally we don't really use the pull-ups. I don't really like to use pull-ups. I just go straight into underwear with the kids. So yeah, donated those, gave them to people who could use them now instead of holding on to them for more years. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just gonna do a little bit of cleaning down here. Keep myself busy. It's nap time now, so. This is a pack and play. I think I'm gonna, well, I think I'm gonna sell it because I don't think we're gonna use this anymore. So yeah, I think I might just put it up, take a picture of it, and then put it for sale on Facebook. Put it in the garage until somebody buys it. checking my lens because my lens my camera is like on its last leg so I don't know what I'm gonna do if it just decides to not work anymore that would really suck but I have to keep like manually opening the lens because it doesn't open all the way um but it's good right now dinner time I'm doing sloppy joe's Madison likes this it's super easy so I went out went out to the store earlier and got beef I don't have any and rolls Yeah, um, so super easy dinner tonight. Um, I ate a bunch of pretzels before that I shouldn't have eaten. There's probably like 200 calories in pretzels. I don't know. I kind of want to like put it all, put however many pretzels I think I ate on a plate and see how many calories it was. I don't know. I get like where I want to snack around like 3.30 or so. So I was just sitting at the table like eating pretzels, scrolling my phone, and then I just decided I was like, that's enough. Put them away, get up from the table, do something else. Um, so I went on Amazon and I tried to look for uh, little bowls. Where are they? I'm gonna show you what I'm looking for. There are these bowls. And I need more bowls for the kids because we go through them so fast. So these are Nook brand. They're just like little bowls and they have lids. I lost the lids over the years. I think I only have one lid left. Um, but I wanted to get more of those. And they're $10 for four bowls. $10, like it definitely didn't used to be $10. Like I'm pretty sure the last time, I should go back and check my Amazon like what the price was but I'm pretty sure they're probably like $5.99 or $6.99 or something now they're $9.99 for four bowls like that's ridiculous like maybe for 10 but not for just four bowls like that's not anything I don't know where some other ones on Amazon like there's this brand called replay let me know if you guys have ever bought anything from that brand before and if it's any good um, they had six bowls for no was it six bowls for 12 let me check what was it I think their price was even higher. It was like the first one that came up on Amazon. Yeah, four bowls without lid, thirteen dollars for here. Mommy. Hold on, buddy. You see that? You got four bowls, no lids, for thirteen dollars. That's even worse. Can what? I watch one, two, three, two? One, two, three, go. You mean? Yeah. No, you can't watch that. Why? Because it's 
dumb. I don't want you watching it. Please watch no, it. No. You can watch Blippi. So anyway, I ended up not buying any bowls. <laughs> and I'm about to like... I just watch every video on YouTube Music. Well then I'll just get rid of YouTube Music then. I don't want you watching videos on YouTube but you Music. But you can't watch music on YouTube. Oh. Well I don't want you watching 1, 2, 3, go buddy. If I find out you're going to be in big trouble. So don't watch it. Okay? If it starts with 1, 2, 3, don't watch it. Anyway, I'm about to go on like our ask for anything group or whatever for our town and be like, anyone got like an excess of bowls? Because I'll take some. <laughs> Actually trying to spend like as little as possible on Amazon this month. Um, and just see how much extra money we can save because for the past like, what, four or five months I've been keeping track of everything that we spend and making like a sheet and like categorizing everything. So I have a category on there that's called home slash family. And that's like everything that I'll buy at Walmart or Target or on Amazon. That's either like something for the kids, something for the house, something for, I don't know, just random stuff that doesn't fit into my other categories. Um, it sometimes includes groceries because we'll go to like Walmart or Target and I'll pick up like a couple random things that I need if I'm there. Um, but yeah, a lot of it is Amazon stuff. And so yeah, I've been really trying to watch my spending in that category this month and see if we can come up with like 800 extra dollars because seriously, that's how much we spend in that category like every month. It's approximate, it's like between seven and $900 every month. So that's crazy. If you guys have never like, this is the first time that I did like a budget and like wrote everything out. Like I've never done it before, but I've got like, I'm on, I'm on month five now I'm doing it and literally writing down every single thing we buy, even like $2 purchases at the gas station or whatever. Um, I'll write that down and that will go into like our fast food category because it's like just picking up quick stuff at the, at the quick mart or whatever. Um, but yeah, if you've, if you've never done that before, I would suggest doing it because it is really eye-opening. But yeah, that's why, that's why I'm so hesitant to buy like $10 bowls on Amazon because it's like, too much money should be five dollars or six dollars i mean that still would ruin my no spend month but i mean you know it's not gonna be like a no spend month i'm gonna have to buy things but to get it down a lot would be nice anyway i'm gonna finish dinner so it's almost nine o'clock paisley is currently screaming in her bed <laughs> she's been playing this game where she screams and tries to get out of bed we made the mistake, I guess, of getting her up a couple of times because she wasn't, we figured she wasn't like tired enough. Um, and now she's just doing this at night. But she should be tired. She played, we were upstairs playing. She's good, it's nine o'clock, it's bedtime. Um, I am almost done with my book. And I have uh, another one at the library that I'm gonna pick up soon. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys for my next video. Bye.